foremost, I think, uh, quite impressive um, display of effort, uh, energy, enthusiasm, you know, all the things that you expect to see in players. I thought that uh, we were very charged, very excited, very fired up to play a great one on a state team. Um, proud of our, you know, just consistency throughout. We did have a couple of lapses, uh, probably in a schematic form with a block punt and uh, some turnovers, but defense was absolutely outstanding all game long. Um, put them in some tough situations. Re they answered the bell tremendously. Uh, all the defensive players, you know, Marcus being our uh, one of our leaders on defense. You know, Coach Kleinerman putting not only Marcus, but the rest of the defensive players in positions to succeed. And uh, I thought we controlled the line of scrimmage, and that was uh, something that was going to be very interesting coming into the game uh, on both sides of the ball. So um, lots of lots of bright uh, and shining stars. Uh, plenty to work on, though. We're, we're far from being a perfect team, and we've got tons of room for improvement. And just by happen, by chance, that's the biggest room in the world. So. We're going to uh, continue to improve and continue to work hard and continue to get better. Questions? Coach, uh, you talk about the, that fourth down play. What were you thinking? I mean, you had the 34, I think it was. What yep. were you thinking besides field goal, punt, it's tough, go It's a tough it. situation. It really is. You know, uh, you got a limited amount of time. Uh, you don't want to call a timeout. So you want to save them just in case you need them. So the score was 17 14 at that stage of the game. Um, quick conversations with people and on the staff and on phones and switching back and forth and we just decided to go for it. It would have been a 51 yard field goal. Uh, Dan is very capable. Uh, we talked about the exact distance of what it would have been. Uh, I thought there was enough of a win to affect the kick um, and punting from your own 34 would have been a very difficult situation for us. Um, uh, we could have punted but we thought why not? Let's go for it. You know, our model all week, uh, we had a long conversation just in this room on a Wednesday about not feeling the pressure, about just go for it as a mentality of not being afraid to make mistakes, having the courage uh, just to give it all you got and lay it on the line. And uh, today I thought our, our guys were, you know, they were very positive, they were very confident, and they were very passionate. And uh, I think that was uh, something that we were looking for from our team. And uh, Thursday in practice, we definitely had it. Tuesday and Wednesday, um, there was plenty of uh, questioning on the coaching staff. But this team has uh, continued to marvel and impress um, our coaches uh, with their, you know, I, sometimes I think they're toying with us a little bit with their ability to, to draw it forward and to focus in uh, at the right time. So it's been impressive so far. We're very excited where we're at. We still have so much work to do and have to get so much better uh, to be and fulfill all the dreams that we want to accomplish. So it, it's a good start. We're very happy. Adam, can you talk a little bit about that situation too? Were, were you surprised that you guys were going for it? Was it moving the huddle? And then and talk about the pass itself. Um, no, I, don't, I wasn't surprised. Um, I don't think our offense is surprised. I mean, you know, as we were all standing on the field, we were ready to come off, you know. Um, as far as the pass goes, uh, we've been, you know, working on that play all week. I mean, past weeks, we know it's a good play for us. We know it's a it's a big play for us. And uh, just give it to John Daniels for coming back from that first half and just putting it on the money and getting that first down. Nope. It looked like, from my angle, the nope. kid that went cut in front of you must have came pretty close to tipping it. One of the defensive backs or the linebackers. I were allowed to see that. <laughs> Probably if you had seen it, you would have drafted it. Yeah, great <laughs> concentration. <laughs> <laughs>
chance to if he had it, but it was just a struggle for the ball. I'm way far away. I can't tell exactly what happened, but I think uh, you know what they saw. They obviously felt that it was their ball, and uh, uh, Adam <coughs> let me know that he thought it was the other way because I put a lot of faith in stocking our players what they tell me, and uh, uh, but I didn't, you know, make a big deal of it. You know, they've got to make a decision and do what they feel is best for the game of football, and, and uh, it was a interesting um, situation and yes we could have capitalized on a lot more points in the first half. <coughs> Marcus, you talked a little bit about getting your hands on that last interception and kind of clinched everything there? Uh, yeah, definitely. It was a play that we repped all weekend practice. Uh, Coach Kleinerman did a great job of getting us prepared for the game. Um, just uh, got off the quarterback's eyes and got in my back pedal. I knew where he was going with the ball. I kind of misjudged the ball, which is why I had to jump for it and you know, just made the play. Marcus, can you just talk a little bit about, please, they had that kind of spurt in the third quarter where they had, you know, two touchdowns back to back. Just kind of what was going through your mind during that and what did you guys have to do with the defense to kind of stay poised and get past that? Oh, uh, well, in the first half when the offense turned the ball over, we responded by getting them turned out and not letting the force get on the board. But definitely after the block punt, you could see guys, the urgency pick up, that was definitely starting to get tight right there. So we definitely had to get our energy up and focus in 100%. else. Adam, does, does, uh, does this win kind of I mean, legitimize, that's probably not the right word, the previous uh, three wins? I mean, it seems like it's a maybe a better win than the other ones or something. Um, I mean, not really. It's every each game we go out and we respect our opponents. Um, we went out to Crookston like they were the best team in the nation, you know. We went out to Concordia like they were the best team in the nation. We, we don't really, we talk about it every week too, that we're not playing against someone, we're playing uh, for ourselves, you know? So we just have to do our things and not worry about the opponent. Marcus, can you talk a little bit about, I mean this game sets up a lot of possibilities for you guys, or this one sets up a lot of possibilities for you guys going forward. Uh, just what, what your thoughts are going into the next uh, what, six games? Um, well, going to the St. Cloud, I'm definitely new to the rivalry, but I've heard about it. There's definitely a lot of bad blood there, so definitely looking forward to getting after it there. On the road, it's always tough on the road, so we just got to be ready to just buckle it up and get after it. One more question. How'd it feel to play in front of the biggest crowd in Blake Stadium history? <laughs> you guys, it's pretty loud. It was loud. It was definitely. From the first two, the first game was pretty packed to me. You know, it was something definitely it was a great environment. But to see this today, both sides, when Ona came out, their fans came out, uh, showed them support. Our fans definitely came out, showed support. It was just a great environment for us to play in. Definitely fed off the energy. Tremendous scheduling. Bottom line, I mean, you win a couple games coming into this game. It sets up to be a big game. The fans come out. They want to see uh, quality football. And I think we gave it to them. And I think. Uh, Hats off to all the people that came out and supported and cheered. It was definitely an advantage for us, and uh, we appreciate it. And we'll need them three weeks from the month, three weeks from today, when we're back home. Good. Thanks, guys.